All right, today we have here, this is the Umarex TC68 uh, valve. Um, this is your brass cap, and this is where you screw in your 88 gram CO2, would be right here. Um, we're gonna explore this a little further. Like, I just happened to notice there's tooling slots right here, kind of like a, almost like a castle nut, similar. Um, yeah, so it needs a special tool. I don't have one, but I, I made one today from just a piece of metal. I had laying around, so yeah, basically, I want to explore and see what's past there. And I seen in a picture the guts, it looked like there was a stack of bell washers, Belleville washers somewhere in here. So I'm assuming where the power adjusting screw is. Like the same way you would adjust your PSI on the regulators with the Belleville washers. So I'm assuming it would probably be somewhere in line with there. Because I plan on drilling this and I don't want to drill through and then have a bunch of Belleville washers fall down into the hole when I gas up and a bunch of fragments cause clogging or damage or shoot out or something stupid. So, but anyways, yeah, let's get to this. Um, I'm just going to strip this down, kind of. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll take this. Um, Daniel from uh, ZRAM sent me out one of these. It's a Home Defense 24 uh, power adjusting screw. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's, that's pretty sweet. I had an M6 screw in there, but I took it out. So that's more neat looking. It actually has an arrow. Just shows you left to right. Fits right in there nicely. But anyways. Um, yeah, okay. So what else? We gotta take this piece off right here. This is the part that holds your stock on. Okay, lift that up. And then there's gonna be another little screw right here with a Phillips. It'll have a Phillips head on it. Um, that doesn't cause a leak because it's before the O-ring. So it's before the bleed hole too. Which is right here. Um, yeah, it just locks the, what I'm going to show you, these threads out. I didn't notice this the first time around, but I noticed it after. So I, I had to make a tool. So yeah, now that we got that out, that out, I made another tool. It's just a flathead piece, a flathead screwdriver that I cut. I just took a, a grinder and just went zzz, 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 just made that little V shape there. That way I can grab that. See the two slots down there? We're gonna grab it like this, so. And this is a CO2 piercer. It is a restrictor too, but it's not the main restrictor. The main restrictor is on the other side. Okay. To the brass cap. I just got a pair of needle nose pliers I customized specifically for these. You guys have probably seen these in videos like two, three years ago. <laughs> I just modified the tip of the needle nose pliers. So yeah, if you can see, we're restricted down in there. There's that hole, right there. So, oh, there's just a little hole there, but, and then same thing with up in here. This hole goes up, right up there, and then back down right here to this just in behind here and then there's an o-ring here and an o-ring there creating a seal and then that little pinhole I don't know it's like a 0 0.8 millimeter I think barely enough for a hair dog hair to fit through but that's your restrictor and that's why HPA is not getting good numbers so if you stick a 1100 PSI and you're mostly gonna get like under 20 joules so You'll get an average wild shot here or there, but not worth 
uh, not worth it. So basically, that needs plugged. That needs plug. I got the plugs um, right here. So these plugs. Anyways, I already discussed all this, but um, here's the main thing I'm going to show you. Here's my tool. This is the tool I made. It's just a piece of steel. Like this. It's going to fit into each slot. Just like that. And then we're going to twist. Hmm. Coming up fairly easy. Used to just be aluminum. Oh, and there's where that set screw goes into that Phillips screw there, so, <coughs> so it doesn't spin and twist on you. Come out. <coughs> okay, so interesting. This is a dead thread. It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> There's gotta be a purpose for it. Like, it just goes nowhere. That looks similar to a paintball thread. Kind of, but kind of fine. Yeah, right. <clears throat> um, let me see this. You gotta be fucking shitting me. Oh my god. What? Huh. <laughs> no fucking way. So, look at that. Wow, that fits an HPA thread. Shut up. What? So what's the point of the adapter? Why not just... Well, it's still restricted, so it doesn't matter, right? If you look behind there, we are restricted. And it's got that same restriction up here on the top, so... I don't know, but in Daniel's picture from Home Defense 24, he posted a picture, and I seen that there's a stack of Belleville washers and, like, some weird brass screw with an O-ring on it or something. Uh, I don't know. There's two O-rings behind this. One behind that one, one behind that one. They come just before that screw, and then over here, just before that screw. So... You have to drill between those two O-rings. But I'm going to plug these off. I got screws here. Um, yeah, so. Here we go. Um, yeah, so. But. One. These are the wrong threads. It's a, it's an M8, but there's three pitches. Um, yeah. So I I ordered the right ones. I got them coming in the mail. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, uh, Kemper. Helped me find them. I searched everywhere, and he found them for me. And then I ended up finding them. A bunch of other guys found them. Thank you all who helped out. Thank you. But yeah, as you can see, there's an O-ring down there. You can just lift that out, but. That's where you want to drill. You want to drill in between the O-ring on that side and on this side. And then, once you take your plug, you don't even need Teflon tape. You just get a flat head plug, and then you just compress it into that O-ring, and then you're sealed. But, no me, I'm going to put Teflon tape on it regardless, and then it'll seal it. It'll be double sealed. And then, yeah, that's it. Then the next step after that is to drill through. But I want to see if I can get any Belleville washers out. Um, yeah, that stack. I, I'm going to ask Warren and then what, what, is, what else is in there because I don't want to drill through it all and have a bunch of loose bits inside, right, that I can't get out because they're all strapped and... But... Yeah, those two holes there, that's not for a tool. I don't understand. How do you get in there? Like, there's a line right there. It goes all the way around, but that's not a twisty. There's no way. Uh, 
Oh. Oh, wow. There's actually like a seating. Where the threads end, there's a flat. Oh, you can't see this light so bright. Hold on. Let me dim it down a bit. Oh, wow. The threads end. So it's almost like there's an o ring slot, like an o ring seating. Oh, my God. Here's a home defense 24 adapter. Oh my god. Oh, 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 no way. Shut the F up. So that's a degasser. So now that we buy, now that we're bypassing our A and A on off switch, dude, dude, dude. And then once we plug this, we can straight drill through now. But I got to see what else is in here before I do that. So, because if there's Belleville washers, I got to figure out how to get them out. But yeah, those two holes up there, that's not for a screw. It is, but it's for set screws. When you put your original plug in, you set your FPS, uh, whatever you want it at. And then there's a set screw that locks it into that hole of a screw so it doesn't move around, I guess. Because, hold on, I'm going to try and open this. I don't see a, that does not look like a screw. Yeah, see? There's no way that's turning. I can't turn that. Oh, there's a pin. There's a hole right here. Oh, I wonder if that's a depression hole. Let me see. Comes to a halt. Feels like metal on metal. Yes, definitely. Nope. There's no depression. I can't depress anything. Nope. Yeah, there's no way that's twisting. You can see that it's not going to twist. Yeah, that's all solid one piece. This is crazy here. Hold on. In those pictures I've seen, the Belleville washers stack. It has to be in here, because, like, on a regulator, you're on your adjuster. When you add more and less, that's how you adjust your PSI output. So, with the turn of a screw, compressing them and decompressing them for more power. Oh, my God. No way. Like, I can't believe that thread's perfectly in there. Lock solid HPA, any HPA threads. Oh my god. <clears throat> wow, look at that. Wow. Huh, I can't believe that. So. Why add an HPA adapter? Well, I guess so people don't have to use tools. Who wants to use tools all the time to switch back and forth, right? And take the gun apart. Yeah, right. But that's something you could do on the outside. When this is sticking out, you can access this from the outside. But anyway, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, so here's your HPA. This is your thread, your O-ring, your seals in there. Yep, you see down in there, your depress your degassing hole for when you turn it out. The screw, the set screw slot, locking the thread in. Anyways, guys, wow, this is very interesting. So basically, I don't have to put the HPA adapter that comes with this in like that. So instead of adding an extra ASA on-off, we're getting rid of our ASA on-off, but we're adding another one. Only this here is going to be slightly longer than the one that comes with it. So, But it's better than having the one that comes with it plus this. So either way, we're shortening it, which is a good thing. And we're getting a... We can put our ASA of choice on it instead of that one they have with the buttons on the side. Like this guy you see. 
this is your degasser on each side of the button. There's the O-ring. But, um, yeah, it's very interesting because these pin, this pin is restricting airflow too. And you can't file it down because it's hollow. You don't want to go too deep in there. This will be nothing left of it. It'll snap. So, yeah, when you go back and forth, it reaches the hole and then seals up. Releases it that little bit of air through plus the little hole it already has down there. Very strange setup. It's, it's these are just my theory, <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure because that's what passes this hole right here in between there. When it goes in between, you look through here and there's a you shine the light in, you can see a pinhole that comes through. It comes through right between those two o rings. Hold on, if I have a light here, see you can see the light come through. see so <clears throat> yeah and then from right there it goes up and then it goes back down here so just a straight drill through between these two sealed off points right through there all we need is five to eight millimeters and that'll be enough for air hpa flow perfect enough yeah i'm just over the moon this is crazy <laughs> I can't believe that. <clears throat> oh, this HPA. And there even appears to be a slot. And my eyes are bad. And this is very chrome, but I'm following where the threads are. And yeah, it's flat down there. It's got a flat surface, just the perfect size for the tip of that o ring. Like the double o ring ones that have the doubles on them. Like this guy here. This has two O-rings, I think. Is it? Oh, I can't tell, man. I'm blind right now. Yes, it does. So, the second O-ring down there won't do nothing. <clears throat> but yeah, very strange how they made this so it threads in there. Huh. Hmm. Well, cool. It's cool to know. Cause once you, once I drill through there, well, finally, my HP thread's gonna be right here now, with the adapter instead of way out here. But yeah, I'll put this back together after, guys. There's no point in showing you all. This is just a couple screws. There's really nothing to do. You just screw everything back by hand. So it's very simple. Um. Just, yeah, you just got to make your own special tools. These are just needle noses. I took a grinder and filed perfectly around little holes. Not perfect holes, but perfect enough to fit. And then I made this little tool here. It's just a square of a flat piece of sheet metal that I made the M17 uh, trigger arm with, linkage. So, yeah, that just fits right in the slot right there. Fits in that slot here. It allows you to turn. Yeah, and then you just got this guy. Custom tools, if you can make them at home. It's easy, otherwise you have to go and buy special tools. They could be expensive. But yeah, guys, stay safe. Take care as always, man. Let me know what you guys think of that. It's pretty cool. And how can I get to them bell wheel washers? Please, if you guys know, please tell me. Y'all stay safe, guys, as always, you know. <clears throat>